I just think it's completely unfair. He's never left my side. He's always been there for me. Heartbreak tonight after a Valley teenager is killed by a suspected drunk driver while on his way to school. NHP says this man crashed into 16 year old Jalen Fajardo near Durango and Farm. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is live at the scene as friends cope with the loss tonight. Christopher. Trisha Jalen Fajardo was just 16 years old. He was driving at this intersection when an SUV rear ended him. Tonight, his friends can't believe it. I feel in denial, like this can't be real. Michelle Milaje is struggling to accept she'll never again see her friend. I'm just in shock. I feel like this isn't real and I'll just see him again tomorrow at school. Jalen Fajardo was killed when a suspected drunk driver slammed into his car. I just think it's completely unfair. It happened around 745 this morning as Jalen was driving to school. Nevada Highway Patrol says David Finch was speeding in his SUV when he plowed into Jalen's Honda. I sat there and I started crying. I'm still in shock. Brooklyn Decker was in class when she found out the awful truth. I didn't know if it was real or not. Jalen was a sophomore at Arborview High School who just transferred from Shadow Ridge. Brooklyn and Michelle say Jalen was a great friend. He's never left my side. He's always been there for me. And one of the most intelligent students they knew. And he was just always really positive about everything, and he was really smart. Now the two teenagers try to understand why anyone would cut down their dear friend before he's even old enough to go to his prom. He has such a bright future ahead of him and I'm really angry that someone could do that. David Fetch is charged with vehicular homicide, drunk driving and driving without a valid license. We're live. Christopher King, 13 Action News. Thank